welcome to Mayfair Metro Station. I have made it with plenty of time to spare. Uh, I just missed Amtrak F40 Cabbage car go by. But uh, as long as uh, my Metro train comes at 1240, I'll be able to take the Hiawatha from Glenview up to Sturdivant, Wisconsin, and uh, finally knock Wisconsin on my list. I've had multiple eight plus hour layovers here in Chicago, so I'm surprised I just haven't done it up until now. So. Trying to knock off Wisconsin, have an hour there, see if I can find something to eat. Um, then head back to Chicago Union, and if I don't find anything to eat in Wisconsin, I have at least four hours in Chicago Union, in the lounge, so we'll make it work. to Glenview Amtrak Station. So now we're just going to wait for the Hiawatha. When it gets here, we will go to Wisconsin. For a while, right? I wouldn't know. I don't know. I don't know how I don't know like when it becomes vinegar. Some of the stuff might still be good. Well, anyway, enjoy your trip up there. Um, there's some nice old houses uh, in Racine on the lake. 
Um, I go to the courthouse there because of the practice, so sometimes I'm there. I'm trying to think of what else you might want to see. You know, I don't know if they have tours of the old, um, and the, and the Bradley Company, the SC Bradley. Some of those buildings were designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, you know, because yeah. he did a lot of stuff. I'll put on the list for sure. Anyway, you know, good luck, man. Enjoy your day. It's going to snow. We are on our way to Wisconsin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Welcome everybody to Sturdivant, Wisconsin. One of the smallest stations I've seen with two tracks. As you can see, it is Sturdivant, Wisconsin. I touched Wisconsin soil. It's official. I've been here. I'll come back. Wisconsin is more than just Sturdivant, Wisconsin. And I didn't even get cheese curds because it's the middle of nowhere. And I don't have a car. Now we're gonna wait about an hour. I didn't want to risk it being too close in case the train was late, going to further stop. Uh, we'll wait an hour. We'll get the Hiawatha back. That was the first Horizon coach and Charger, by the way. And uh, F42. Uh, Amtrak F40, cabbage car. Um, take Amtrak back, be in the lounge for a while, charge up, eat some stuff.
Brand new Siemens Charger. Looks like I got 312 on the front today. Far Trans City of New Orleans. Looks like I got B42 helping. Second time getting close up to these things. the train around so again another unique maneuver for this train the city of New Orleans the veterans unit 90 5 I've never seen that vets unit before now I have oh there's 203 I was wondering where you went 152. We finished backing up. We are now moving forward. And I believe so long as we have the right trackage, we will continue moving forward for the rest of this trip into New Orleans. We have left Chicago Union on time at 8.05 p.m. 
uh, we're just waiting for dinner um, and uh, for Kanky Key to roll around and then I'll try to see if um, my friend um, ASA Aviation uh, Hadi can uh, catch my train real quick um, he's been really cool about it and I appreciate it um, but that's going to happen in uh, Champaign where he uh, is currently going to school he lives there so it's really cool we are now finally uh, going forward and I will show you dinner when it gets here we chose the meatballs um, yeah meatballs marinara with a cut of I can't say that I'm bad at these weird words but we chose the Jeb Brooks meatballs basically and we'll see how uh, they taste Dinner has finally arrived. I'm gonna unpack it. Oh, there goes uh, the Metro Electric trains. But uh, no, I'm gonna go unpack dinner. And then I'll show you what we have real quick. So we have the meatballs. They're not exactly the traditional meatballs like uh, on the Flex menu. They're slightly different. Uh, ginger ale, same brownie, which is really good. Just which was a little warm. Uh, ice for for your drink. Um, basically what's going on here with the city of New Orleans is they don't have enough dining cars for the auto train to have their dining services and then the Zephyr, the Chief, the uh, Coast Starlight, the Sunset Limited, and the Empire Builder all at once. I don't know how, but apparently they don't. So, the city of New Orleans got the short end of the stick, along with the Capital Limited, and these are the meals that are being served on both the trains. I will try these. Um, we'll also have breakfast and lunch tomorrow. Breakfast is a little bit different because it's not traditional dining or flex menu, so we will see that later. And I will try these, and I will explain my opinion on them later. Welcome to Homewood, Illinois. We are actually about eight minutes early. So uh, we will be sitting here till uh, 8.43, I believe, where we will uh, depart uh, on time. We're actually here at 8.43. We're departing 8.54, so uh, we'll be leaving here in like 10 minutes or so. All right. Good, uh, good night, folks. Um, how, do you, how do you start in that anyway? The pasta was fine, the meatballs were dry and bland, and quite honestly just terrible. Um, the brownie's still the brownie, it's still good, uh, that's fine. Um, this food honestly so far is worse than the Silver Star's uh, Flex Meal Dining Program, simply because they lack the means to properly cook the Flex Meals apparently. Um, I know AS Aviation, uh, he, when he, uh, took the, uh, he took the City of New Orleans that one time, about, I think, a year ago, um, he had the salmon like I had, so, there was a time where they did have the equipment to do stuff like that, but they don't anymore. Um, we're about to pull up onto Kankakee, which is part of the City of New Orleans song, um, so I'm going to film part of that for uh, the upcoming video, vlog, vlog, song. Don't know what I'm going to do about it, but we're doing something. Um, so we're on City of New Orleans. We're at Kanki, one of the first parts of the song. And um, after that, we have the bed made. I'll do a quick tour, probably, before I have the bed made. And uh, 
weather, we'll go to bed and we'll wake up hopefully before we get to uh, Memphis, Tennessee for the next part of the song actually. So, good night. As promised, quick uh, room tour. Here's your uh, tray table. Folds up and down. This one does have the chest table still kind of etched in it. I don't know if you can see that very well, but probably not. It's very loose, so be careful when you're using it. This one's actually kind of finicky. This is the top bunk. I'm gonna try actually try sleeping up here tonight. So I have my seat just kind of already ready for daytime configuration. Uh, we just have two pillows. They don't have the uh, the liner like the, they did on the Silver Star, um, which is unfortunate. These are the this is the original Superliner, like these Superliner 1s, not Superliner 2s. Your attendant call button, light switch off, your night light. Um, radio controls which don't even do anything, so that's kind of defunct. Um, you have your reading light there. Your steps to get up to the upper bunk. You have a mirror here, hello. You have another reading light, temperature controls here. The one plug in this room, there's only one on Superliners, so I forgot about this. Bring a power cord extensioner if you want to ride on a Superliner train, because you will need it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You will need an extra plug, even if you are by yourself. Reading light, and there's no extra reading lights up here. There's only the one switch. So, coat hook here, coat hook here. And this is actually your coat room. Have uh, some stuff on hangers. You have some towels, um, some hand towels up here. Get two hangers. Hang your coats in here if you're on like a longer journey. Your trash can is down there by the footrest. You have your curtains. This there's a window on this side, but there's a guy there, so I don't want to be looking at him. It's kind of awkward. It's not like the could see anything like last time and this curtain comes across and you're totally private so that's how uh, the room stacks up I can already tell you guys prefer the view liner already by a lot uh, my poor bid was rejected for the bedroom it is what it is but um, let me get this turned down for bed and uh, see a can't key Maybe stay up for champagne, but then we're going to bed right after that. Alright. Welcome to Kankakee. It is 9.20 p.m. Central Time. Here on the city of New Orleans. As the song goes, all along the southbound Odyssey, the train pulls out of Kankakee. And rolls along past houses, farms, and fields. Well, we're about to do that. In a few minutes, we will be pulling out of Kankakee. Although, sadly, it is on the other side of the car. It's on the left side. We are on the right side, so... It works nonetheless. Uh, we do have the bed turned down. It is all ready. I'm gonna sleep up there tonight so I can keep the window open, so I can come down here when I feel like it. And have the best of both worlds. So, fun fact, the city of New Orleans serves the least used Amtrak station in Tennessee, which is New Bern Dyersburg, which I found out by watching Miles and Trans' video on least used stations in the United States. That's a cool fact, or at least I think it's a cool fact. I thought I'd tell you because I'm not sure if I'll be awake for when we hit New Bern's Dyersburg, Tennessee, which is right before Memphis. I hope to be awake by Memphis because it's part of the song, but uh, we shall see.
Good morning, outside of Taquana, Illinois. Yes, we're still in Illinois. That was about seven hours of sleep, actually. Um, it is currently 5.21 in the morning. So, uh, 6.21 Eastern for me. That explains why I'm up. Uh, I don't know where we stopped. We actually made our station stop, but we are just outside of town and we are stopped here so I will let you guys know what's going on when I can figure it out okay update we actually do not stop into coin there's apparently a disabled freight train and we've been here apparently for three hours that explains why we're still in Illinois um, yeah there's a disabled freight train ahead which sucks Nothing you can do about that, but this is where Canadian Pacific and their single main line down to the sea could use some double trackage, um, or even triple trackage in some cases. I'm not sure what's disabled, but uh, hopefully we get moving soon. Um, we will see what's going on as the sun continues to come up. Maybe we'll get some more updates verbally. I don't want to jinx it, but uh. We are moving. Hopefully whatever is going on with that train is over. And uh, they give us priority and let us around. At the next available sighting. But uh, we are now on our way again. After about a three and a half hour or more delay. We were doing so well every stop up to this point. When I was looking and checking, we would arrive early and leave on time. We will see how much of it we can make up. But I doubt it'll be much. Good morning from just north of Carbondale, Illinois. We are back on the move. And we are at great pace. We passed the freight train, it was going north, so. We should be all good. Uh, Sidoro is going north. Feel bad for having to follow them after that. But, um, sleeping up in the upper bunk wasn't bad. It took some getting used to. But I didn't roll out of the bed or anything. Uh, I don't tend to move too, too much. Um, so that was fine. Yeah, sleep is overall fine. I'm gonna probably shower once we get to our next stop so I can know how long we've been delayed. I have stuff I still have no clue. Um, but we just got moving, so it's not you're gonna get not gonna get immediate responses for things. But uh this is why I'm not in a rush. This is why I came on this train a day roughly early. So I didn't have to rush it. We still will be in New Orleans in plenty of time, which will be a little later, be about 6 o'clock if there is a 3 hour delay, rather than 3 o'clock. But also there's a lot of padding in these schedules, so we might make up an hour, because we're going all the way to the end. So we shall see.
central. Welcome to Carbondale. sunlight now the sun is rising actually is really nice out here not quite mountainous but the definitely hillier than I expected for southern Illinois um, the shower was hot a lot of water pressure not like it's exploding in your face but like good water pressure good shower a lot better than on the silver star I just think uh, they were probably either out of water or, something, or like a pump broke or something but um Shower is great. I feel refreshed. Uh, I am up now. Uh, breakfast is on its way. Uh, they just started breakfast. Uh, we are facing a near five hour delay. So we will try to make up some of that time. We're not making up all of it. Um, we'll see how my ASMR train at night video comes out. Because um, apparently we're stopped for a bunch of it. Didn't know that. So we, will, we shall see. Breakfast this morning with a little bit of uh, Super Mario Smash Brothers orange juice. Try out these new egg bites and a muffin. They offered me two, so I took two breakfast options. So hopefully that tastes good. And I've had the muffin before, not like that. I think it, it's just weird. It's just a different muffin. Same muffin except on like all the other Amtrak trains, but packaged differently. So the muffin will be fine. But yeah, egg bites. I just actually just finished one of my snacks from yesterday while I was waiting, so I'll be fine. But this is what breakfast looks like. Most city in New Orleans, since they don't have the flex menu or to just dine, they have their own dining menu, right, as you can see here. Probably gonna go for either the turkey and cheddar, or the ham and Swiss, or maybe the cheeseburger, I don't know. Yeah, this is uh, what we have to look forward to. Uh, for lunch and we'll probably have maybe another dinner I might have to just buy dinner because how long the train's going to be now this is what we have we are about to cross the Ohio River into Kentucky from Illinois not too far off to the west is the Mississippi River which we won't be crossing at all this is probably the closest we're gonna get. Actually, no, we're we'll slightly close in uh, Memphis because it would be just across from us. But we are just now crossing the Ohio River. Um, we haven't had too many interruptions since the delayed. Uh, that train had their incident, so. Goodbye, Illinois. Welcome to the bluegrass state of Kentucky, whose border starts at the river. Just past that bridge in the distance is the Mississippi. But we are currently crossing over the Ohio. It's amazing how much cargo they move on these two rivers alone. They've been moving cargo along these rivers on barges for centuries. Absolutely amazing.
Yes, please. Okay. This is it? Yes, yeah, thank All you very right. much. Banks of Kentucky. We won't spend too much time in this state because uh, we're on the thin end. We'll be in Tennessee very soon. Welcome to Kentucky. And that right there, folks, is the Great Mississippi River. I knew we would get closer. Wasn't really sure how much closer, but so far, this is the closest we'll get so far to the Mississippi. Hopefully, we get a little closer. And we will have to cross it in order to get to the airport, so we, I will uh, definitely get video of the Mississippi when, we, when I get closer. Welcome to Fulton, Kentucky. Arriving at 8.21 in the morning. Uh, breakfast is over. Uh, it was actually surprisingly good. I'm surprised egg bites tasted as good as they did. But I'm just lounging. I'm actually making myself tired again. I actually might go back to sleep for a little while. And uh, I'll try to be up for the two stops in Tennessee. Dyersburg, Dyersburg, New Bern and Dyersburg, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Memphis. Because you have to change cars. So the song says. Um, so yeah, we'll be looking for that. This is our first stop at Kentucky. So, um, we haven't really made up any time, we haven't lost too much time either. We are now leaving, it is 821, so that was a quick stop, got people on, got people off, and we're out of here. Um, the Chargers still doing fine, people I'd say the Chargers are terrible, but the weather's been good, so the Chargers doing its job. Got a P-42 just in case, even if it does mess up, the P-42 will pull by itself. Typically, one engine would carry the strain on its own, but the P-42 has been used as backup recently. I will see you guys at our next stop, or in Tennessee, whichever comes first. We have slowed down, um, reasons unknown currently, but I checked the map, and apparently right after we left Fulton, Kentucky, which was the only stop in Kentucky, we crossed right into Tennessee, so welcome to Tennessee. Um, yeah, we're just currently in Tennessee, uh, we are five hours behind, uh, five hours, ten minutes, I believe. So I'm just going to make the most of it and we're going to relax. I might head over to the lounge car and uh, see what's going on over there. So my sleeping car was downstairs. We're now upstairs. And once upstairs, we can walk forward in the direction of the train's travel. Kick the little button down there. A little button down here and enter the lounge car. The uh, crew have their sleeping quarters up ahead, so we don't go over there. There's plenty of seating, being as this is. Not one of the, the more well-known scenic trains, like the Zephyr or the Chief or the Empire Builder. It's relatively empty. But I'm going to pick a table. I'm just gonna relax in here for a bit, get a change of scenery. As the scenery moves on past the windows. So apparently I was mistaken. Actually, I'm um, actually apparently oh. two cars up front for uh, extra, they're just transporting me down, so I didn't know that. But, uh, 
They're trying to get me out. We're passing trains that have no names. Last pretty of freight yards, we're not sure about who works in them. Uh, this Canadian National Bank, Pacific, on the front of this. They do own a lot that we're on. So, we can blame them for the delays, specifically. Now pulling in to the least used station of Tennessee, according to Miles in Transit, Newburn Dyersburg, Tennessee. Volunteer space. soon arriving into Memphis for our refuel and stretch break. And I'm finally getting to see the giant Memphis Pyramid built taller than the Giza Pyramids actually. I will be coming back here at some point hopefully just to go to this pyramid. Dude Perfect came here once, did a bunch of trick shots and things. And there is a bowling alley and I believe a movie theater inside. I might be mistaken when you get it, but I remember seeing the bowling alley in their, in their movie, in their, show, their, uh, their YouTube video. This pyramid is cool. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. So did a little bit of filming and photo taking in Memphis. We have just left. We are preparing for lunch. I'm having a look at the lunch menu while we wait. But um, we're roughly five hours late. We try to make some of time. We haven't made up much time, but we're almost exactly five hours late up to this point. Um, preparing for lunch. Lunch options being turkey and cheddar or multigrain, ham and Swiss and pretzel roll, Asian noodle bowl, which I won't be getting, the Greek salad, which I won't be getting, cheeseburger, or hot dog. Uh, don't really care too much for the Hebrew national hot dogs, just not my thing. Um, cheeseburger is the safe choice. Um, I'm considering maybe the turkey and cheddar, ham and Swiss, but I might go with the cheeseburger only because it would be a hot option. The other, All the rest are cold options. Um, if I didn't mention it earlier, the egg bites were actually surprisingly good. I don't know why they were that good, but it worked out. Maybe the bacon saved the bacon and cheese saved it. I do stuff like that at home all the time. So um, we'll see about lunch, and I guess I'll probably be ordering dinner at some point. Not because it's free, but because we're going to be getting to New Orleans a little late. So I'd rather eat instead of wait till after eight o'clock to find something in New Orleans at that point. It is Mardi Gras, apparently. I forgot about that. So happy Mardi Gras. And uh, see you come lunchtime. And we're stopped again. This time, I don't know what. We will find out soon because we just stopped. So we'll, we'll find out. Um, but CN, CP, whoever owns this line really just needs to add a second main line to really help speed things along if it's traffic. Um, an axle being broken, no one's fault it happens. But eesh. We're, we're five hours late. 
Uh, I'm not mad about it or anything because I have all day. But it's the what ifs, you know. Like this train was running early, actually, in a lot of places when we first got the trip started because Metro had the line free. There was multiple tracks, so of course we could breeze on through. It wasn't until after Champagne when I went to bed that things started to go a little haywire. But I don't know when that went haywire. I just know I woke up to it being haywire because we're in Illinois still. Um, still in Tennessee. We didn't get far. Um, we're still just outside of Memphis. But um, hopefully getting to move on soon. And uh, we have lunch ordered. So we'll see that. And then we'll see Mississippi. And uh, keep going on until we get to New Orleans. Okay, I just put two and two together. Our lead conductor is outside at a switch, and over there is our good old friend Canadian National doing a yard job. Which means probably there's a switch not lined for the main. We had to go switch it manually. We just pulled past it. They're gonna switch it back for CN, and then we'll get on our way. But would have been nice if they had, you know, switched it to the main, locked it, and unlocked it when they needed it, knowing that we were coming through. But we also should have been out of here by now. So it is what it is. But uh, yeah, CN could also just use a second main line. That would be great. Welcome to the state of Mississippi, just north of Crenshaw. No, just south of Crenshaw. I'm sorry. So we passed Crenshaw a few minutes ago. Um, we finally got to look at the map again. We are now in my second of three states on this trip. Three new states. Mississippi, the third on this train. No, the fourth on this train, I'm sorry. Because we get through Kentucky. It's the fourth on this train. Last one being Louisiana. We still have a ways to go. We're still in northern Mississippi. But it's nice to find across this state off my list, too. Which has been ordered. We're still waiting on it. Um, we'll get it shortly. Um, got a cheeseburger, just playing it safe. Um, and just at this point, we're just kind of here for the ride. We're along for the ride. Um, and there's not much else to do today. So we're just going to relax. chill out to some music that I've downloaded because uh, we're on Superliner. Superliners don't have Wi-Fi capabilities. They didn't install them like they did for like Amplitudes or Amplitudes 2s that run on the Northeast Corridor or in most on the East Coast. So just trying to relax and have a good time. We are now leaving Marks, Mississippi and we're still hovering around that five hour late mark. Um, we're not really gaining time or losing time so that it is what it is. Um, but if we're not losing time, that's still, that's that's a good thing. So, but that was our first stop in Mississippi. I cannot recall what our next stop is, but I'm pretty sure I'll be recording because I I believe it's a smoke break, a stretch break. So we will come up on that stop and uh, we will reassess uh, our delay due to that freight train once we get there. So lunch is finally here. Like I said, I went for the cheeseburger and Doritos because it's a safe option. Just didn't really feel like experimenting right now. Not with uh, this menu. But, uh, again, same stuff you find in the, the car. It's simply that you just get it for free, I guess. I'm going to eat it. Hopefully it tastes good. Because, like I said, the egg bites are surprisingly good. So maybe it actually will taste good. So here we are. Welcome to Greenwood, Mississippi. We just finished lunch. Lunch was okay. It's a cheeseburger at the end of the day. The bun was a little tough, so the burger was trying to slip out of it. But overall, good. Only one more state left. It's Louisiana and we'll be there. We've got one more break to the capital of Mississippi. And uh, after that, we will get on to New Orleans. Way, 
So welcome back. Took a little break from updating everybody and everything about this trip so far. Uh, we're almost to Louisiana now. Uh, we left Jackson at 4.04 uh, p.m., a little after 4.04. Had a decent stop there. Um, because the train's delayed, we actually were offered complimentary another meal, which is great. So I won't be buying dinner. They actually are giving us dinner, so that's cool. So this is the first time getting for getting four meals on a train. It's also going to be the first time I've ever spent 24 hours on a train, technically. Um, let's get into New Orleans a little after 7.10, 7.20. Um, so, a lot later than we thought it would. It, it, it's okay. Um, there's some padding schedule to give us some of that time. Max will get there at 8 o'clock exactly, so. Um, just get another cheeseburger. That's what they had available, um, so... I've had a good time on the train, met a lot of nice people, had a lot of cool conversations. And while we won't see uh, Louisiana in the daylight, we'll get pretty close. Uh, the other city, New Orleans, actually passed us in uh, Jackson. They had arrived when we did, so they pulled past us back to the station once we left. Because of the single track that uh, this main line runs on. So, again, I still had fun. Um, it's a good train. I just wish that that other train hadn't broken down. Without that, everything has gone smoothly for the most part, so. It, I'm enjoying myself. Illinois Central Railway 2542. I love when stations have steam engines lying around. It's so cool. It's a 482. Man, this thing must have had a cool life. Welcome to Macomb, the last stop in the Mississippi. And boy, is it a good one. Wish I had more time. It's a plug of steam engine. See y'all in Louisiana. Dinner and a view. As we leave Macomb at 6.23 p.m. Welcome to state three of three. This is Kentwood, Louisiana. We don't stop here, but this is the nearest town we are passing through at the moment. First time visiting state of Louisiana, though about this time we should have been in New Orleans for at least three hours. Still enjoying myself because the real trip after this begins tomorrow at 1, so we still have plenty of time. Now departing Hammond, Louisiana. This is, I believe, one of our two stops in Louisiana, the next one being New Orleans, if I'm correct. Currently 7.16 p.m. Saw a couple rail fans out here, not sure uh, what channel they have or how long they've been out here, but it's cool to see people watching the train this late, even though we should have been in New Orleans a while ago. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be leaving soon, so. And then we'll make it to New Orleans and we'll prepare for our flight on a ah, Velo. Oof, done that too much. On Breeze. Uh, tomorrow. So, hope we get into that soon. Thank 
gets kicked out. Just short of five hours delayed on arrival by 17 minutes. So it'll be four hours, 33 minutes, 43 minutes late into New Orleans. Still got time to catch a bus over to the airport, which will take the shuttle to my hotel. Um, wish I had more time to tour the trolley system. That's something I was looking forward to, but it is what it is. Wonderful train station full of murals. Nice that they renovated this place. It actually looks really nice. They still stand to renovate what's outside beyond, but it is very nice here inside the space terminal. I'll be heading on to find a way to a hotel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for breeze. to the hotel. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. We'll talk about this whole trip later. But tomorrow's a big day. Bree's first passenger service flight that's not a charter. Nor do you. See you tomorrow.